What's good guys, it's your boy from Tokyo Brew, another video, and this one guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 and iPhone 7.3.3 to an iPhone 6 and iOS 12 GM, which is like the, the official version just one week earlier for developers. I want to say guys, sorry for not posting the video yesterday, but I was in Greece and just came back and had to do it now immediately. And regarding the coming video guys, I'm going to either do one for the SE or the 6S, just guys comment down below what you want to see before, first, and whatever get more likes is going to be the next video eventually. Always guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, gonna bring up both devices here iOS 12 GM, iOS 10.3.3, and just want to say that GM is just like uh, the official version, just uh, one week earlier. So it should be exactly what the official version is going to be exactly. So when it comes to booting up, usually iOS 12 is super fast always. Shouldn't be any difference here. And just the screen is not the original one, that's why it's kind of darker here. Okay, so iOS 12 is actually faster, slightly. No, actually there's some difference, that's good. And now just gonna jump into the phones. iOS 12 was smoother, I right, guess. So first up here, everything is close in the background. So you can go for settings and change the background. So with the speed of launching the settings app was exactly the same. Going for wallpapers. That was actually smooth, faster on iOS 10, slightly though. Just gonna go for stills. You can go for every official iOS 10 and iOS 12, wallpaper set both and leave. That was definitely faster than iOS 10, sadly. Now, guys, now I'm gonna launch calendar. That's exactly the same. Photos, exactly the same. Good stuff. Camera, faster than iOS 10. Maps, it's about the same. But iOS 10 was faster loading, going for phone dialer. That was actually a millisecond or so faster than iOS 12. Safari. And now I'm just gonna click on the Apple logo. And that was actually faster than iOS 12. Good stuff there, very nice App Store. And it seems like both are taking some time, but iOS 10, uh, 12, sorry, was actually faster. That's great, leaving iTunes Store. Both are taking some time. And iOS 10 seems or was actually, it, it was faster. Now going for stocks, new UI here. Let's, okay, it's a little slower. New UI is slower here. Leaving and now guys gonna go for third party apps. Hopefully, fingers crossed here. I mean, I hope that uh, iOS 12 didn't improve over betas because in betas definitely iOS 10 was always faster launching third party apps. That's what that was disappointing. So no Super Mario actually appeared first in iOS 10.3.3, and that's sad. Let's see if iOS 12 was a miracle, nope. No miracles then. Yeah, actually taking too long, leaving, going for Geekbench 4. Okay, that was identical. Temperant 2. No, guys, okay, definitely iOS 10 seems faster. Wow, no way, that's sad. There is some difference. You can definitely play before. You save up some 10 seconds here, leaving, going for Subway Surfers, Berlin. Loading bar appeared first night is 10, sadly. So till this point, iOS 10 is still better than iOS 12. Leaving, going for Jetpack Joyride. Loading bar appeared first again, and loading screen appeared actually first on iOS 10. But let's see if iOS 12 is a miracle here. I hope. Nope, sadly. Come on, iOS 12, do something. Going for Facebook. Definitely iOS 10. But the difference did shrink here, Google Earth. Okay, the difference was minimal, the iOS 10 was faster. I mean, a minimal, the minimal difference would be good. I mean, iOS 11 was super slow. Wow, Snapchat was about the same, good stuff. Now going for one of my favorite apps, Instagram. Okay, 
and definitely uh, I don't know guys because this phone actually had to had to load but this immediately launched the uh, loaded the feed actually so going for Yelp that was identical actually good stuff there amazing going for YouTube I really care about YouTube because I really use it often. And that was actually super fast and almost identical, even faster than 12. That's good. That's really impressive here. eBay. Okay, eBay is faster than 10 though. Both were super fast. Now guys, going for third party apps. So when it comes to speed, um, both phones were decent. Okay, iOS 10 was faster, but difference wasn't that big. So settings, refresh. Okay, on both. Calendar, I refresh on iOS 12 photos but that was fast to be honest camera fast on 12 maps both at refresh so this device has one gigabyte of ram so you won't really expect much had the refresh here here nope safari both at the refresh app store both at the refresh itunes store so as long as both are refreshing then there's no problem with 12 because iOS 10 was really good with apps, so multitasking, stocks. Okay, so it seems like it didn't refresh on iOS 10, iOS 12 had to. Mario Run, I refresh on both, I think. Yep, Geekbench 4. So both had to refresh definitely because this had to freeze. Temper on 2, and refresh on both. Subway Surfers, and no, refresh, both of them. My phones had to refresh. Jetpack Joyride. Wow, okay, iOS 10 definitely beats iOS 12. Facebook. Yeah, both the refresh. Google Earth. Snapchat. Okay, both the refresh. Instagram. I refresh on both devices. Yelp. I refresh on both. YouTube. I refresh on both. Finally, eBay. Okay, both kept eBay in the background. So this phone only kept one app, maybe two maximum. That's disappointing. This kept like four or five. So RAM management still is still better than iOS 10 for iPhone 6. Now guys going for Geekbench 4. Identical speed while it's launching the app. I'm just gonna run benchmarks. All right guys, both phones are done. Single core wise, iPhone 6, iOS 10.3.3 is core better. Multi-core score-wise, iOS 12 definitely beats iOS 10. Good stuff there. And guys, that's a previous score from the previous beta. Um, so definitely an improvement in both single and multi-core scores on the iPhone 6 running iOS 12 here. I want to say guys that this phone started the test at um, 99%, so it lost 12% throughout the test. And this started at 100%, so it lost 10%. So the difference is not big. Battery-wise, both phones are super are great, yeah, to be honest. But... Uh, RAM, RAM management wise, multitasking is definitely better than iOS 10. Plus, um, CPU, okay, it was better than iOS 10, I have to say that, but the difference isn't that big. So, you, you will notice it, yes, but not like iOS 11. iOS 11, the, the speed down rate was dramatic, catastrophe there on iOS 11. So, iOS 12 is doing better, but I guess it's better to wait for iOS 12.1 to see what's up then, because maybe 12.1 would actually improve the 6. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the comparison. I want to say, guys, that the GM version is decent, yes. Uh, when it comes to multitasking, it's kind of bad. Battery wise, it's really okay comparable to iOS 10. iOS 10 is slightly better, but if you upgrade, you won't really notice a battery downgrade, unlike iOS 11, for example. But um, CPU is kind of slower, so you're gonna notice that sometimes, depending on, let's say, games or stuff, but stock apps are decent. Um, multitasking is worse, and guys, I think it's better to wait for iOS 12.1 to fix some things on the iPhone 6. So, if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content. Peace out.